everyone, and welcome to Bourbon Bites Whiskey Reviews with a Gaming Twist. I'm Clifton, and I am finally back after more than a week. I just returned from Cancun. No, I wasn't partying with Trev Wilson, although that would have been really awesome. <laughs> but yes, just got back from vacation on late Thursday night, so I'm happy to be back doing a stream. I want to do something fun and different this time because you, know, you guys have been watching you know, all your whiskey tubers doing their whiskey reviews of all these new releases and things like that, but I, I think it's time. I think it's time to get a little nutty. So today we are reviewing six different peanut butter whiskeys. Um, if you saw in the thumbnail, there are six different brands here. We're going to see if any of them are actually drinkable from a whiskey drinker's perspective. There's a lot of reviews of these out there on the internet, uh, but I don't think I have seen a whiskey a whiskey tubers thoughts on peanut butter whiskey so that's what we're doing here tonight it's gonna be like i said pretty nutty so thank you all for tuning in i thank you james taylor and steve a who are pre-gaming here a bit before the stream um as they mentioned we are doing a special <laughs> special shot at the end of the stream if we happen to get over 1,000 instagram followers so if you are not yet following me on instagram you can do that at at Bourbon Bites, like down below. Um, we're getting really close. I saw a lot of you people were following me before the stream started. Um, we're getting dangerously close to 1,000 followers on Instagram, which is crazy. And if we get to 1,000, I will be drinking one or all of these peanut butter whiskeys mixed with none other than Ardbeg Wee Beastie. That's right, peanut butter, Isla Scott shot. I, I was trying to think of the worst thing I could put with peanut butter, and Isla Scotch was the the only thing that came to mind. So, if we hit a thousand or get over one thousand tonight over on Instagram, I'm gonna do this at the end of tonight's stream. So make sure if y'all aren't following me um, to go check that out. I'm hoping to do a lot more with Instagram coming up soon. So that's kind of why I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, also to, worth mentioning, um, if you are a patron of the show. We are doing our monthly Patreon hangout right after this stream. That's for everyone $5 and up on Patreon. If you're considering uh, supporting the show, maybe not after tonight's stream, but after my normal streams, you can do that at patreon.com slash bourbon bites for as little as $2 a month. You can support the channel, but $5 and up a month gets access to our hangout that we're doing here tonight. Um, so that's going to be a lot of fun, especially after I'm on a bit of a sugar high from drinking all of these peanut butter whiskeys. So, I um, want to go a couple other shout outs since people are popping in here tonight. Um, like I said, James Taylor, Steve A. Welcome, guys. Uh, it's Nick Proman and Whiskey Mountains. Whiskey Mountain says, oh boy, peanut butter. No Knob Creek in this lineup. No Knob Creek, but I may reward myself at the after party hangout with some Knob Creek if, if things go well. Or even if they don't, I still may reward myself with some Knob Creek. What's up, Fred? Good to see you, man. Sugar Kitty, member of the Bite Club. Y'all can also become a Bite Club member here on YouTube. Click the little join button down below for $1.99. You get access to some special emojis that Sugar Kitty has access to. Um, yeah, just another way to support the channel, and it does mean a lot to me here. Um, I also see Andrew. What's up, Andrew? And Brian Brennicky. Awesome. Thank you all for tuning in this Saturday evening. Um, so like I said, I've been gone for a week and a half. Went to Cancun, had an amazing trip. I hung out with um, one of my best friends from high school. It was great catching up with her. I met some new friends there. Um, got to hung, hang out with her husband, who I haven't really hung out with. And it was, it was a great time. They're actually flying home today. We left a little early. Um, we wanted to keep a short trip. Uh, but, man, it was, it was fantastic. It was hot. Mexico in July is just extremely hot. <laughs> the weather's pretty good. It rained on us a couple times, but, like, very, very quickly. Um, got a little sunburnt. It's kind of faded now, but Monday we went snorkeling and we, you're not supposed to wear sunscreen when you're snorkeling, um, in Mexico because of the reefs and they're protecting them as a national park on um, where we were at Puerto Morelos. Um, so <laughs> I had a big goggles sunburn right here. Also my lower back, like where my shirt, cause I had like one of those SPF shirts on where that was lifting up. Like I, had, I have like a red tan line on like right above my butt. Um, I know Trev was talking about his wife. He's, he was live before me. He may still be live. Um, we saw how his wife's butt got sunburnt. Um, if y'all want to see my butt pictures on Patreon, you know, I, I may post them. I mean, I know he posted his wife and he got a lot of new patrons, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to try through all six of these. If you're watching the replay, I'm going to put little chapter markers down below so you can know um, when to skip to the whiskey that you're curious about. And then I'll put a one, little final one at the end saying, um, hey, there's the winner. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the stream. I know it's a little bit, <laughs> a little bit different, but I'm looking forward to it, question mark, I think. <laughs> I'm looking forward to finding a good one because 
one of the problems with flavored whiskeys, I think we all kind of agree, they are so, so sweet. So I think my goal, what I'm looking for in a peanut butter whiskey is yes, it can have some sweetness. It's peanut butter after all, but I want a natural nutty taste. I want it to be something that I can combine with other things to make a really good shot, preferably not the Ardbeg, but you know, whatever, however it goes tonight. Um, but yeah, so I want something natural tasting, still sweet, but not overwhelmingly sweet. Um, so these are all pretty similar proof, except for one. We're going to save the 99 proofer for the very end, but we're going to work our way through these. Uh, but before I get into that, I got to, I got to give myself a baseline. So have myself some regular creamy peanut butter here, Kroger brand, if you're curious. Um, I need to remind myself, what is peanut butter? So we're gonna have a scoop of peanut butter here tonight. Let me know what you guys are drinking. Are you guys drinking peanut butter whiskey? Are you eating peanut butter out of the cup like I'm about to do? Or are you drinking something that might be a little nutty like some Knob Creek or maybe some Heaven Hill? Let me know in the chat right now what you're drinking or let me know in the comments below if you're watching the replay. Um, I wanna know what you're drinking while you're watching this video. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and for, for a control, let's go ahead and get our spoons um, and let's, let's, let's just give a little, little dab of peanut butter. So. What do I look for in a peanut butter? I like, so I guess this should have been, I have a poll over on the side asking if you guys like peanut butter whiskey. Another poll I should have done was, do you like natural peanut butter or do you like the, the sweeter peanut butter? To me, it depends on what I'm putting on. On like a pb and J, I I like this, I like a little bit of sweetness. I think it, I mean, cause I usually put more peanut butter than jelly. Um, but when I'm eating it straight out of the jar, I don't know, I kind of go back and forth. I do like that the non-natural kind, you can just stick a spoon in, you don't gotta stir it, you can just eat it. So this is just this is just the creamy, not the natural one. Figured that's they're probably the that's probably the profile that these whiskeys are gonna be because they're definitely not gonna be natural. <laughs> there is nothing natural about peanut butter whiskey. Let's get that out of the way. Jeff Perkins is sipping on some Knob Creek 12 and then moving on to Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. Knob Creek is so nutty, so it's a, a very appropriate choice. And Smoke Wagon is just freaking great. Uh, <laughs> Fred says proper. Proper scientific method. Um, <laughs> Adriana says, some sunburnt Cliffy butt on Patreon. Cliffy butt on Patreon. Who wouldn't join? That's how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> um, Sugar Kitty is drinking some Klein, Klein, oh man, I always mess that up. Klein Leash. Klein Leash. 1998, 11-year-old. Wow. That's, that's a dusty, right? Isn't that basically putting that at like a 2009 release? That's awesome. Um, Whiskey Mountains has a Coke with her tacos. Man, that's that's living the life right there. That was me in Mexico all week. <laughs> um, yeah, so Fred says I'm good with either, but for natural. Brian Brandy, oh, he's not drinking peanut butter whiskey. Couldn't bring myself to follow the theme tonight. Drinking some Nulu. I, I, I don't blame you, Brian. <laughs> like I said, I want to do something fun and different tonight. So that's that's what we're doing. So let's 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 set our baseline. This is peanut butter. Thank God I grabbed my water. It just stuck to every or every, I always say every orifice of my mouth, but that doesn't even make sense. So to every surface of my mouth. That's good. For Kroger brand peanut butter, it's not too sweet. It is, it tastes a lot more like a natural peanut butter, actually. I'm really impressed with this. I see why we buy it over and over again. That was pretty good. I don't have more stuff. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Ah, uh, it's an independent bottle, so potentially a little dusty. That's awesome. Enjoy that. Uh, Whiskey Mountain says, I don't think I've had natural peanut butter. Ain't bougie enough. Well, I'm talking about the one where the, the oil separates from the peanut butter. Like, you have to stir it real hard every time you have to use it, or else it just gets really dry and hard at the bottom. Um. Yeah, so let's go ahead. Let me... Yeah, I got to I got to cleanse my palate cuz I'm like that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> and we're going to work our way through this lineup. So, first peanut butter whiskey we are trying here tonight is let me go over to my list of There we go. Uh, I don't think I can have that at the same time. Hold on. Ah, we can. Okay. First peanut butter whiskey we're having. We're going in order of price um, other than the final one which is the highest proof. Lowest price of these now, these prices are based on a full-size 750 milliliter bottle. This is Ram's Point. Um, so it's hard to see this mini bottle and also my green screen kind of. <laughs> it's not green, but for some reason it doesn't show up very well. But Ram's Point Peanut Butter Whiskey. 70 proof uh, whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. 
So this is bottled by Frankfurt Distillers Company. Oh, wait, that's weird. Frankfurt Distillers Company in Lewiston, Maine. Okay, not the Frankfurt I'm thinking of, but what, what, <laughs> we'll go with that. So that's a Rams Point. Let's go ahead and get Rams Point in our glass. Um, so question for you guys. It doesn't, you don't, you may not have had to like it. Have you guys ever tried peanut butter flavored whiskey or do you just like, you just don't, you don't, you don't mess with that. Let me know. Cause I def, my first one that I bought was screwball. Um, because it's made here in, in Southern California. It's in San, San Diego. Um, and I will say I expected a lot worse. I, I, did not hate it. <laughs> so that's the only one that I've tried so far. So I'm going to be trying all these, you know, comparatively seeing if Screwball is the still, the, it's one of the most expensive ones here. So we'll see if it's the best value or if some of these more budget ones are just as good for cheaper. Or maybe, you know, I just taste them again. I'm like, I realize I don't like peanut butter whiskey. I don't know. We'll find out here tonight. So let's go ahead and try this Rams point. Like I said, 70 proof, uh, around $16 or no, this one was 15, around $15. I'm not even going to analyze color here because like they all have color added. Let's be real. This is not natural whiskey color. <laughs> um, so whiskey mountain says I've never tried it. Even when I first heard of it, I assume people only would drink it in a cocktail. Yeah. I think it was kind of like, it came out when fireball was like right after fireball fireball surged and everyone was buying fireball and doing fireball shots. Screwball came out and like shook up the game. I think a lot of people, I don't know. <sighs> You know, I've never gone to like a party or anything where everyone was doing screwball shots. I don't know. I've, I've been to parties with fireball shots, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm just too old. Maybe that's what the cool kids are doing now. Um, let me know if you guys have done if you guys have done shots, if you've done them in a cocktail. Um, I've just drank it by itself, and that's what we're doing. I, I was going to put these in the freezer, but I'm like, no. I'm eating this like I eat my – or I'm drinking this like I eat my peanut butter. Natural, room temperature, and and also that's how I do my whiskey too. So got to gotta go full whiskey whiskey professional here so <laughs> oh that nose is not great on that one oof that is ha that is very sweet that smells like a peanut butter flavored um uh, like a jelly bean like a yeah like a, a very artificial peanut butter smell on the nose um i don't know if i, I may have just read this but brian bernie says i like it but a little too sweet to have more than one i agree with that yeah it's not one that you can like sip on all night and kill a bottle that would be an awful hangover the next morning um, Jim Morris says, I tried a mini of Screwball. found it disgustingly sweet. Um, yeah, it's very sweet. Um, Sherry G says, I love Screwball as a dessert drink. I've tried some of the others, haven't found them as good as Screwball. Well, that's what we're going to find out here tonight. We're going to see, is Screwball really the champion? Or are some of these other options even better? Or same, same, val better value, but same, same, ah, goodness. <laughs> Let's roll with it. Peanut butter sticking to my tongue. It's making things a little difficult to speak. <laughs> what's up Zofer? Zofer says not sure i'm proud of san diego's contribution to this group hey you know what they might be the winner here tonight we'll see we'll see um yeah so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try ram's point peanut butter whiskey cheers guys i know you're not choosing with this but cheers anyways yeah that nose is not great it smells like ah uh, let's try it It tastes a little bit better than it smells. It, it goes, it's still extremely sweet. Like that is making me like, my. it's making my mouth water because it's so sweet. I, I taste a lot of the alcohol though. They say, I mean, these are all technically labeled as whiskeys. So they're all whiskeys. I don't know if they are like, <laughs> like new make, not, I mean, they can't be new making called whiskey, but they, they can be barely aged. They could be six months. I don't know. They don't give you this info. Anywhere, I, I tried searching the web. The website was broken for both Rams Point and Sheepdog. Their websites were very, very similar. So it makes me curious. Are these the same whiskey? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll do a little side by side. But yeah, I couldn't find any info on these. So if y'all have any info on where these are made or where they're from, let me know because there's not much info online. Most of them say Kentucky. So, so Rams Point and Sheepdog are Kentucky whiskeys. Scatterbrain, I think, is Canadian. Yeah, yeah. So Rams Point is Kentucky. Sheepdog is Kentucky. Scatterbrain is Canadian. Screwball is just American whiskey. Peanutty is also Kentucky. And 99 proof, I have no idea where they're from. So, all right. So there's a bit of a, like a, 
like an aspartame kind of finish on that one. Yeah, that <clears throat> clogging my throat. I, I, it's hard to judge the first one. We always say this when we do a blind flight. It's hard to judge the first one without something to compare it to. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the second peanut butter whiskey, which is Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey. Um, I love their I love their little cute little logo there with the paw print. Um, this one's also 70 proof. It says whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. Um, now this one, so so while that one said bottled by Frankfurt Distillers Company in Lewiston, Maine, this one says bottled by Sazerac, Louisville, Kentucky. So this one is one dollar more when you when you when you go. Now these are these are mini bottles, but. The price of a 750 milliliter one is one dollar more for the sheepdog peanut butter whiskey. So, is it the same stuff? I don't know. Let's let's go ahead and pour it and, and see how it compares. Whew. My like, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little bit of acid reflux already. Uh. So Zofer says. So would these peanut butter whiskeys be paired with a shot of grape juice to taste like PB and J? That's a great question. Do you guys have any good shot recommendations to use this? I know people use uh, what is that? Sh Chambord is I think it's pronounced. It's like a like a berry kind of liqueur, tastes a little jammy. People do a shot of that. I know Mrs. Linux Cat um, did a thing with banana liqueur, right? Donnie, if, if she's here, let us know her recipe, what she does with her peanut butter whiskey, because um, that sounded really good. But tonight, if y'all missed it. I'm not doing anything delicious because if we get over a thousand followers on Instagram tonight at bourbon bites, I will be doing a peanut butter whiskey and Ardbeg shot. Just think on that for a moment. We beastie and peanut butter whiskey. So that's only if we hit over a thousand, we're getting really close, but let's see if we can get a thousand tonight. So if you guys have a Instagram, even if you don't use it that much, just go and follow me. If you have a company account, you know, I don't want don't, no fake accounts though. Like let it be only real accounts, but still, we get over a thousand. If anyone has the count of how many we're at right now, let me know. Smoky nut bar, smoky nut butter. <laughs> I gotta think of a clever name. That's 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 pretty good though. Smoked peanut butter. Well, we'll see. Sugar says Shambord is chocolate raspberry. That's it. That sounds delicious mixed with peanut butter. Um, though there's Donnie. He says Mrs. Linux Cat likes screwball with Godiva dark chocolate and the 99 banana. That would be a treat. I I don't have any of the delicious things. Maybe I can do a follow up stream with the winner whichever whiskey wins tonight and we will do some peanut butter whiskey cocktails. Maybe if y'all want to see that, maybe not. <laughs> um, so people say we are 992 and 991. Oh wow. We are less than 10 followers away. So if you guys literally, if you're on your phone watching this right now, just I'm okay. If you go away and come back, it's fine. Just go on Instagram, search for at bourbon bites. Follow me. We might do an art bag shot here tonight. We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> All right. So I poured the uh, sheep dog. Let's go ahead and nose that one. Oh, it's different. It's a little different. It, they're pretty similar. The first one, the Rams Point, tasted almost like berry. There's like some berry, almost PB&J kind of with the nose. Um, this one, though, still doesn't smell great, <laughs> but it, it, it's a little more up my up the peanut butter, up the peanut butter alley. So let's go and try Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey. Cheers, guys. Thin. Very, I say thin. Thin in flavor, thick in mouthfeel. There's not much going on flavor-wise. It, it hits your tongue. It's, it's definitely peanut butter. It's sweet, but I don't think it's as sweet. It, it it feels a little syrupy in the mouth, but doesn't it doesn't taste syrupy sweet. That's pretty smooth, and I y'all know I don't love that word. That's not bad. Sheepdog, sheepdog. I think even though their websites are very similar, only a dollar difference. I think I think sheepdog takes the cake there. That's a lot more natural tasting. Yeah, that would blend really well in a shot. The first one, the first one is very alcohol forward. Um. This one though is 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 a lot more balanced and smooth. One note, yeah, but it's a peanut butter whiskey. It's a sixteen dollar peanut butter whiskey. Um, yeah, I I think Sheepdog takes the lead over at Rams Point. Um, James Taylor has a cocktail. What is this? Four ounces screwball, uh, four ounces chocolate liqueur, four ounces cream de. I almost thought that said cocaine. I was like, whoa, <laughs> cream de co cocoa. 
ice cubes, one ounce heavy cream. Oh man, that sounds delicious. That sounds really great, man. Maybe if I had more of these, okay, how about this? Whichever whiskey wins tonight will be, I'll pick up a bottle of it and, um, full size bottle. And we'll, we'll do some cocktails for a future stream or maybe a future hangout. Um, here's looking up your peanut butter alley. <laughs> uh, Ah, uh, David Goldman says, I feel like you should be drinking grape juice as a palate cleanser. I don't have any grape juice. Oh, that would be a good idea, though. I, I have peanut butter as a palate cleanser, but that would just, if I had to rinse my, if I had to, like, eat peanut butter and then, like, wait till it was gone before I moved to the next whiskey, we'd be here all night. But that's a great idea. I only have cranberry juice, and I don't know cranberry. Nah. No one does, like, cranberry jelly. Maybe they do. I don't know. All right. Sheepdog, sheepdog, you're looking good so far. So let's move on to peanut butter whiskey number three that is another popular one i see a lot about this one this is scatterbrain peanut butter whiskey another 70 proofer of course 19 dollars. we're going up three dollars right here <laughs> in price point now this one does say canadian whiskey on the total wine website it says smooth rich canadian whiskey with delicious peanut butter flavor uh what do they say on the bottle for your nutty side hell yeah i love i also like their logo is like an elephant i don't know if you can see it but it's also interesting that the, they're called Scatterbrain with a K and Screwball is Screwball with a K and they have a they have like a sheep's head. There's like Ram's Point, Screwball has a sheep's head and Scatterbrain has an elephant. I don't know. I'm not going to say that Screwball was first, but Screwball was definitely the most popular. So if Scatterbrain had this logo first, Screwball totally ripped that off. <laughs> but if not, I think Scatterbrain is kind of going for the Screwball audience there. All right, so let's go ahead and pour some. Let's 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 go ahead and pour the Scatterbrain. I'm keeping track of these, by the way. I have, I have six different Glen Cairns because this is worth dirtying my Glens for. <laughs> uh, all right. Scatterbrain peanut butter whiskey. Now, color-wise, this one's a little lighter. It's a little lighter, so maybe less artificial color. What do we say? Whiskey with natural flavor and caramel color. It's, it's still, got some, still got some caramel color, but <laughs> all right. S scatterbrain. Man, my, I, my mouth is drying out real quick. That doesn't smell like peanut butter. That, I mean, I guess sort of. It kind of smells like chlorine, like pool water. And I know because I've been in the pool like all week. Like I mean, there's some vanilla or something. That is burning my nose. Oh my gosh. This was only 70 proof. This is the scattered brain. I need some water. That's, that's intense before I go into that one. Yeah, screw um, whiskey mountain says no which one is more more popular. Um, Screwball is definitely the most popular one, but I hear a good bit about Scatterbrain. Uh, Nurse Dave says, "Silly question, I know, but do you actually like these?" So, fun story: the first time I tried peanut butter whiskey, um, we were going to a county fair in San Diego, and we went to a uh, grocery store beforehand. We were, we were going to get like like sometimes we like to have some some pregame drinks um, in the parking lot of the fair. I don't know. Maybe that's, that's my Southern, that's my Southern thing coming out, but that's what we do. <laughs> that's what we do. Um, we decided not to, I saw screwball and I was like, Oh, that's we're in San Diego. Let's try screwball. We got it for the car. We got some ice. It wasn't that bad. It actually, no, let me clarify. We got it for the car, the parked car that was off and we were at the fair. We were good. Um, but yeah, that actually, it surprised me how much I like. We drank like almost half a bottle between, I think there were like, there were like four of us there. Yeah. So a group of four of us drank half the bottle before we went to the fair, so we were feeling real good. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and I didn't love the nose on Scatterbrain. Let's see if it redeems itself on the taste on the flavor. Cheers. So, huh? Okay. It smells more alcohol. There's there's more alcohol in the nose than on the taste. It's got a really fake artificial sweetness kind of thing at the end. That aspartame kind of note. I was going to root for it. I was going to say like, oh, wow. I, I thought it, it was going really well until that finish came out. I, I feel like the Canadian whiskey, this is going to sound really weird, but I feel like the Canadian whiskey, like, it kind of peaks out in ways it shouldn't. So I'm getting that like, you know, kind of grainy, kind of like very light, light, light caramel. 
It almost tasted like a, I would guess, if I had to guess the flavor of this, I still wouldn't guess peanut butter. I would guess almost like a, like a caramel macchiato. It's got like a coffee caramel kind of flavor. Hey, a second sip of that one. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, but it's more butterscotchy. It's more, it's not peanut butter. I feel like that's almost disqualified because it's not peanut butter. What do y'all think? Should I, I'll, I'll wait till I'm ranking them. We'll, we'll decide how I feel about that. It's good, but I, I wouldn't drink that. It's it. I would definitely mix that. That's like a pour over ice cream kind of butterscotch caramel thing. Um, <laughs> Brian says pre-gaming with Clifton is the best. Brian knows very well um, how I pre-game. Usually it's with subpar spirits like red, white, and blue vodka. <laughs> red, white, and berry. Um, good info from Fred. Fred says Sheepdog and Rams Point are both Sazerac. Looks like they're using Kentucky Distillery. Distillate. Okay. So those are both Sazerac. They do have a pretty significant taste difference, though. So I'm wondering if maybe they're doing a different blend of flavors. I don't know exactly what's happening there. They smell very similar, but there's something different going on with the flavor of those. Uh, <laughs> Cliffy in the Del Mar Fairgrounds chugging a screwball. That's where you'll find me on a, on a summer night in Southern California. Again, that's my South Carolinian coming out. <laughs> <laughs> they don't good authority that he has a Dixie cup in his car only on special occasions and only for the, the finest of guests. Donnie says we are up to 993 followers. So that means we are seven away from an Ardbeg, Ardbeg peanut butter shot. I even have a shot glass specifically for that shot and we can make it happen. So stay tuned. We might make it. We got 30 more minutes. We'll see. We'll see. We also got three more peanut butter whiskeys to go through. So... Let's let's go ahead and move on to the fourth one. We're going to come back through. I'm leaving a little bit in each glass, of course, to taste through. Because, again, we're ranking these. Not only am I picking my favorite, picking my least favorite. We're working our way up to my favorite. So let's go ahead and move to glass D. D is the whiskey that started it all. Um, no, it's not. I got my bottles mixed up. <laughs> if we're going in order of price, let me change that. Okay. Never mind. Backtrack. D is Peanutty. I love this name. This is the most, the best name ever. Shepherd's Peanutty Peanut Butter Whiskey. Also 70 proof. This one's $20. So basically it's a little, it's a dollar more than the Scatterbrain. This one is, like I said, 70 proof bottled by, there's a name. Oh, it's a name. It just says Shep P. Nutty. Do you think that was his real name? Do you think that was the master blender slash distiller that made this? I highly doubt it. Whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. This one is also bottled by KD Distilling Company in Louisville, Kentucky. Could this also be Sazerac? I actually think, I think Swan, um, Swan, who y'all may know from this My Bourbon podcast, I think he also told me that P. Nutty was also Sazerac. So I think Sazerac is spitting out a lot of their whiskeys. I don't know, maybe different mash bills. I don't know, maybe just different labels at different prices. We'll find out because we're going to see, is this P. Nutty? If these, if these first two were Sazerac, Third was Canadian, and the fourth maybe Sazerac again. Is this is this really worth the price increase? Let's find out. All right, P Nutty with the D. If that was his name, he was born for this. Absolutely. <laughs> if you don't get into the peanut industry and your name's P Nutty, like what are you doing? <laughs> All right, so P Nutty. Let's go ahead and give that. Let's give Mr. Nutty, Mr. Nut, Mr. Nutty. Let's give Mr. Nutty a nose, shall we? Speaking of nose, <laughs> great timing. Whiskey nose is in the house. How are you guys doing? Hope y'all are having fun. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm having fun. I'm working my way through peanut butter whiskey. So there's, that's like a, it's a, that's a thin line. <laughs> uh, maybe they send the reject batches to the peanut line. Ah, I love it. I love it, Donnie. All right. Nose on Mr. Peanutty. Oh, oh, oh I like this. Oh yeah, I, I like the nose on that. I need to let that sit. I need a water. I need a lot of water. This is all sticking in my throat. Like I said, this is a Kentucky one. So the description on Total Wine says, sweet and salty to the finish. This peanut butter whiskey with a full taste and smooth palate is easy to sip or shoot. So I will say the nose on this one is really good. I mean, I think, let me go, let me go back to what I thought was my favorite. 
It's similar, but I, I think this one smells a little more natural. Still, it's kind of still leaning to that butterscotch kind of world. Almost like C was, but like not quite as intense. Let's go ahead and give it a try, though. Cheers, guys. Man, that got exciting at first. The flavor was really good at first. It was like strong and dominant with the flavor. And then it just immediately did. And I was almost like, oh, I can almost taste, like it almost tastes like a young whiskey, like almost like a white dog. I was like, oh, I can feel like the corn sweetened it. It just yanked it away from me. Let me, let me go for a second sip, because that was weird. I was getting all this really bold flavor, and then it just disappeared. Up front, great. Swallow. It loses all the sweetness. You, you stick, it sticks around at the end a little bit. Almost, you know what this tastes like? Out of all of them, this one tastes like a Reese's Pieces. So it has like the peanut butter center, the sweet peanut butter center, but the finish is almost like a chocolatey, like a chocolatey candy kind of note on the finish. That, while it's not the, <laughs> do you want a really long finish with a peanut butter whiskey? What do y'all think? Do y'all think you, you do or you don't? I don't know. I think that serves its purpose, especially if you're doing it as a shot. That goes down quick. It goes down easy. I I just, I don't, flavor-wise, it's really great, though. We'll come back to it. That's a high contender, though, so far. <laughs> um, whiskey Th No says, this is a great comparison. I know, like I said, we got it. <laughs> There's not many whiskey tubers out here reviewing peanut butter whiskey, so we got to go for it. Let me know what y'all want to see next. Do y'all want to see a fireball cinnamon whiskey comparison? Because I'll do it. Y'all want to see a vanilla whiskey comparison? I mean, We'll see how this does. If, if, if we get a lot of replay views on this one and I, people are genuinely curious, I'm happy to do more of these. I love trying new things, even if it's like <laughs> things that I would prefer to be drinking otherwise. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is fun. Scatterbrain has a really nice, um, really nice, yeah, like a Reese's Pieces candy. That's really good. Um, Nurse Day says, I'm too old to use the Insta, but I followed you. Oh man, what, are, what number are we at right now? We're at 996 followers on Instagram. So if we if we get to a thousand, there's going to be some art bag involved here. So, yeah, cinnamon. So Donnie says cinnamon whiskey. We could do a cinnamon whiskey. How about we save that for like as it starts to cool down, get into the fall season. We'll do a cinnamon whiskey. I'll buy all the cinnamon whiskeys out there on the market. Love that idea. Let's do it. <laughs> bourbon bourbon noob Patrick says nice poll. Yes, if you guys haven't voted in the poll over there, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like peanut butter whiskey? Um, do you think it's only good in a shot or a cocktail, or do you like hell no, nah, like you don't do it? We'll look at the results at the end of the night. So Brian Bernicke says, I don't think I'm judging peanut butter whiskey based on the finish. To me, it would be all about the palate and how well I thought it could mix with other flavors. That's a good, that's a good point. Brian, I, mean, I saw Brian giving his tasting notes. He did a, um, a barrel pick with its bourbon night last night. By the way, great reminder, um, I'm going to be live tomorrow night with its bourbon night. They are doing their five-year whiskey tube, their five-year channel celebration um, and they're inviting some of their friends on. They they invited me, and it, it, it warmed my heart when they invited me. So I will be on with it's bourbon night tomorrow night at their normal time on a sun, on a Sunday. But yeah, looking forward to that. There's gonna be some other great guests. Fred Minnick's gonna be there. Jason the Mash and Drum is gonna be there. Trev the friggin' Bur bourbon wrench is gonna be there, um, and maybe a few other surprise guests. So tune into that tomorrow night. Uh, but for now, stick with me because we got two more peanut butter whiskeys to go. <laughs> All right, let's move on to our fifth peanut butter whiskey. This is the one that I almost said earlier. This is the whiskey that I think started it all. Don't quote me on that. But for me, it started it all. We, of course, are talking about Screwball peanut butter whiskey. This one is 70 proof, $22 about for a full size bottle. Um, cute little label here. It has like a little ram's head on, or maybe it's a sheep's head. I don't know. It says to the spirits. Oh, it's a sheep. There we go. To the misfits, black sheep and screwballs. I love that. I remember I read that and I, I was halfway deep through the bottle in the fair parking lot. And it just, it just sat good with me. Like to the misfits. I love this. So let's go screwball. Let's see how you can hold up tonight in comparison to your, your cheaper, cheaper brethren, or I guess they're not your brothers. Cause there's an elephant and there's a ram. I guess it's similar. Eh, oh, well let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> All right. Screwball, man, this one brings back memories of, two years ago before when fairs were a thing. Although there are fairs this year, 
Although with LA County, I don't know if y'all know, but LA County is bringing back the mask mandate starting tomorrow. And I'm not looking forward to that because I was so, I was loving the freedom. I was loving going into stores and not having to worry about a mask, seeing the faces of friendly employees. Yeah, now we're going to have to, you know, reel that in a bit. But again, it's it's for the safety of everyone. The rates are going up. So I would like people to keep people, to keep people safe. But also I'm like, I'm vaccinated, bitches. I want to take it off. All right. Anyways, let's, let's to, the, to the misfits and the screwballs. Um, so sorry. Oh yeah. It's going to be awesome. Oh yeah. It's going to be awesome when it's bourbon night tomorrow. Uh, Shepherds is Sazerac too. So they make three. Yeah. So Fred, the, three of these are Sazerac. Rams point, sheepdog and peanutty are all Sazerac. It's crazy. And they taste, they taste different. So I'm wondering if they're different experiments with like different, um, flavors and they're going to see like, which one does the best and just only sell that one. I don't know. Peanut butter whiskey is a totally like a new thing, at least to me in the past two to three years, not brand new, but of course it's not been a thing for before that. I don't think. All right. Screwball peanut butter whiskey. Let's, let's go and give this one a nose. Whoa. Okay. I lied. I, you know, how I said D was like the most like peanut buttery man. Screwball. <laughs> wow yeah no screwball almost has like a little bit of like a smokiness not an ardbeg smokiness but a smokiness huh okay well let, I, i'm gonna go back and nose through them all that nose smells more like a whiskey than any of these but a lot of man that's a good nose. I could I could sniff on this for a while, but that's not what Screwball is made for. Screwball is not made for sniffing. It is made for drinking. So cheers to the Misfits, Black Sheep, and Screwballs. It's roasty. I, I said smoky earlier. Roasty is a better word. I almost feel like I taste the nuts. I taste the nuts with screwball. What do they say? Whiskey with natural flavors. Now this one doesn't say caramel color. Interesting. They do not say caramel color added to this one. At least on the mini bottle, they don't. Bottled by Screwball Spirits in Mira Loma, California. Contains peanuts. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just verifying something real quick. Oh my God, this is the only one that actually says contains peanuts. There's an allergy warning on the screwball. Not to say that these other ones don't actually use peanuts, but screwball gives you an allergy warning. So, I, I mean, I saw that after I said, like, I actually taste the peanuts on this one. Actually, I, that is peanut, not, not anything else that sounds like peanut. I actually... That is, if we're going for most natural, I think, I think that may be the winner in terms of most natural, but that doesn't mean it's my favorite. We're going to, we're going to go back through, we're going to rank these, but that's yeah. Who'd have thunk it? Who'd have thunk it? All the others are just chemical flavors. Wow. Well done. Screwball. Yeah. It's not as sweet. It's, it's got a really sweet finish. It's very thick and syrupy, but that's, that's, that's a, that's up there. That's up there. We got one more whiskey to try before we go through and rank them all. Which the only reason I'm saving for this for the end was because <laughs> it's literally the highest proof. All these other ones are 70 proof, right? Well, this, this final, oh, my mouse is glitching out. This final one is only sold in mini bottles, but I, I did some math here. We're drinking 99 brand or 99 proof peanut butter whiskey. You may have seen these. They have like a banana. They have a pretty much every flavor under the sun. They have a watermelon one, by the way, don't recommend that one. I brought that one to the beach once. No, don't recommend watermelon. Um, so we'll see. Can they redeem themselves with this 99 proof peanut butter whiskey? Now to be fair, I didn't even know they made whiskey. I thought it was all just flavored vodka, 
Um, but this one says whiskey, whiskey with natural flavors and caramel color. Now, price wise, again, only sell them in this. So if you do the math in terms of the reason, okay, the reason I came up with $19 for a full size bottle is because the other one that was also the exact same price, the $1 bottle was the, the sheepdog the, or mm, scatterbrain maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Scatterbrain, the mini bottle of scatterbrain was the exact same price as this. So I'm going to say it's the same price as that. So that's just an estimate. They do not sell this in a full size 750 milliliter bottle. It's only in a mini. So Let's go ahead and try 99 proof. Now, I don't know much about this one. It is produced by Polynesian Products Company, Louisville, Kentucky. Serve chilled. Oh, it's a Sazerac. Uh, it's a Sazerac, but this is this has got to be totally different. There's no peanuts mentioned on this. There's no peanuts. Um, <laughs> whiskey Mountain says, like the video, y'all. Clifton is drinking all this peanut butter whiskey for us. We can give him a thumbs up. Oh, thank you so much, Whiskey Mountains. Yes, if you guys are enjoying the show, or even if you're not, <laughs> give me a thumbs up for moral support here because I'm hoping someone finds this video later on. They're deciding which peanut butter whiskey to bring to a party. That's my goal here tonight. Maybe for you, if you're bringing something to a party that they're like, oh, I don't drink bourbon neat. I only like Fireball. Bring them this, maybe maybe impress them. But um, we are at 997 followers on Instagram. If y'all missed it, final time I'm going to mention this. I'm going to do it and I'm going to be doing an Ardbeg peanut butter whiskey shot if we hit a thousand followers on Instagram tonight. We are three away, literally at Bourbon Bites as it's scrolling past there. If you have not yet followed me on Instagram, it's okay if you leave, come back, but get us to a thousand and we're gonna we're gonna do some we're gonna do some peanut butter Ardbeg shots. All right, let's move on. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pour this 99 proof peanut butter whiskey. Oof. I'm drinking way more of these than I should. I realize if I if I drink all six of these, I'd be drinking 300 milliliters of peanut butter whiskey. So I've left about a half half the bottle of each of these left. So <laughs> um, Sofer says Sazerac team chasing screwball aggressively. That's what it seems like here, right? Sazerac's really putting out all the stuff. They're putting out all the. They're doing the the cheap dogs, the elephants, the rams. They're putting out 100 like 99 proof. They're like we're we're gonna get we're gonna beat Fireball or Screwball. Dang it. <laughs> Um, oh, thanks, Donnie, for posting the link to the Instagram. Yeah, appreciate that so much. All right, let's go ahead and give the nose to the 99 proof. This takes a step back on the nose. It's peanut butter-ish, peanut butter-ish-esque. It reminds me a lot more of the first two on the nose. Oh, well, duh, it's also Sazerac. So I think it's probably pretty similar. Yeah, those are a lot sweeter, though. This one being 99 proof, the alcohol is pretty dominant. Uh, Fred says elephants. Ele I'm talking about the Scatterbrain. Scatterbrain has an elephant on the front. So, Oh, wait, Scatterbrain is not even Sazerac. Scatterbrain is um, Canadian whiskey. All right. Let's go ahead and try 99 brand peanut butter whiskey. Cheers. I don't hate that. I don't hate that. There's a lot of flavor. It seems like they match the amount of flavor with the proof. Because what hit me first was a burst of like a dark roasty. Maybe not natural roasty. But like a roasty kind of something flavor. And then I'm hit with a bam. 99 proof. There's a lot of burn on that one. But that actually tastes... That tastes pretty good. That actually... That's up there. That's up there. Um, we are at 999 followers on Instagram. Holy crap, guys. So freaking close. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. All right. So I've now tasted six different peanut butter flavored whiskeys. Let me see if I can eliminate one from this lineup that I just, I think is my least favorite. I, I'm going to go with my first gut. Let me try it again just to make sure. My least favorite is pretty clear. My least favorite of all of these is Scatterbrain Peanut Butter Whiskey. This is the one that was a Canadian whiskey base. It is $19. So basically $3 cheaper than Screwball or 
a dollar more expensive than Sheepdog or two dollars more expensive than Rams Point. That one's got to go. It's just weird. It's funky. It's like butterscotch. It's not. It's not anything I'm looking for in a peanut butter whiskey. It, it could be great poured over ice cream or something, but like, I'm not gonna drink that otherwise. So we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna move the scatterbrain to the end of the queue. Least favorite of the night. Now, do I have a clear second to least favorite? Um, yeah, C, C is like over here. It's gone. Hmm. I think I may have a second to least favorite. Let me let me just see. Am I getting orange in that one? I like how flavorful this one is. So I may not vote it out yet. This is where it's like all blending together. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Oh man, this is getting tough. Holy crap. Mm. I've got a second to last place already. My second to last place. So last place was Scatterbrain. My second to last place, Sheepdog Peanut Butter Whiskey. This one was, what was the price on this one? $16.50, so almost $17. Yeah, it's just, it's too, like, astringent. For the proof, it's it's the one that's the most astringent. I said that when I tasted through it the first time. It's it's a lot of alcohol. It's not it's not awful, but that's a pass for me. So my second to least favorite is Sheepdog. I'm seeing y'all in the chat. We just hit a thousand followers on Instagram. Let me verify just to know y'all aren't just pulling my leg because that'd be freaking awesome. Let's see, Sugar Kitty. I think Sugar Kitty may have been the thousandth follower. Let's see, we are at one thousand followers. Oh, you can see how dirty my phone is. <laughs> Holy crap, guys, we did it. Now. I did technically say if we go over a thousand, so see anyone want to be a thousand? I'm just kidding. We'll do it. We'll do it. All right. Thank you all so much for following me on Instagram. I hope to do a lot more Instagram reels and things like that. Um, that's awesome, but it's also not awesome because that means I got to end the night with some art bag and peanut butter shots. So <laughs> thank you all so much for the congratulations. That means a lot. Whiskey Mountains, uh, Sherry G, Leo. What's up, Leo? Thank you all so much. Y'all are awesome. Welcome to the cult of art bag. Art bag culture is nutty. <laughs> all right cheers guys hashtag we nutty are you celebrating because smoky are you torn on celebrating because smoky peanut butter yeah i think that's it <laughs> maybe it's smoky and roasty we'll see oh thanks so much got a super chat here first super chat of the night comes from donnie says thanks everyone for helping bourbon mites reach 1000 on instagram yes thank you guys and thank you donnie for keeping track of that y'all are all awesome hopefully i get to celebrate with a lot of you guys on the patreon after party if y'all missed it we are doing a patreon after party for everyone five dollars and up on patreon um, we do this once a month. So it's um, patreon.com slash bourbon bites if you want to join us. Um, like I said, the $5 tier and up, you get access to that. Make sure to join us over on Discord afterwards, though, for it, because that's where we're actually doing the, the hangout. Anyways, anyways, I got to continue ranking these. So let's let's move on. Let's move on. All right. Got our two least two last place. So right now we got to do our third last place, and then we're into our top three. This is gonna be this is gets this gets tough. All right. Let me set that. Over here. Yeah. All right. Got four whiskeys left. Let's go to our our third from last. Which one will that be? Yep. Oh. Okay, yeah, I got it. Yeah. My third from last tonight. It's not great. It's it's not, you know, it's not the best thing. It's also not the worst thing. Is Peanutty. Peanutty is it's what is it that I don't like about this one? This is the hard one because it's like I don't hate it. It has like an orange peel kind of note to it, which again, nothing inherently wrong with that. It's just like, if I'm going for the purest, most natural peanut butter taste, 
that that stands out to me. And it's it's something that does complement the nuttiness well, but it's not what I'm looking for in a peanut butter whiskey. So, peanutty, you've been eliminated. So we are now into our top three peanut butter whiskeys. <laughs> Nurse Dave says I'd rather drink Ardbeg and peanut butter than peanut butter by itself. <laughs> Jen Moore says I'm going to unfollow you so you don't have to drink that shot from hell. Uh, they asked for it. They asked for it. They're getting it. <laughs> uh. Fred says we'll be, join be on Jackbox game. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do a game of Jackbox Party Pack thanks to our friend Steven Sussman, who's also a patron of the show, and Maude here. Um, so Steven's going to get that started about a half hour after we start our after party. But yeah, so looking forward to seeing you all there. So we are in our top three peanut butter whiskeys. Let me... Okay, I got it. I got to revisit the... As I'm making my final judgment, I got to have another bite of peanut butter. Just to clarify what I mean by peanut butter. I've never looked for that roasty note in peanut butter before. But now that I've found it in this whiskey, I look for it in the peanut butter. This one, it's there, but I've had it in more, more dominant in other peanut butters. But that one, I mean, there's no doubt, <laughs> there's no doubt, contains peanuts. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the, I, I can taste. What do you okay? What do you call? You know the 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 shell, not the peanut shell, but the the skin that's on the peanut the peanut itself. Do y'all call that nut skin? Because that sounds so awful. But I can almost taste salted nut skin on these on on some of these whiskeys. Wow. Okay. Don't quote me on that. Let me clear my palate because we're going to go in for our top three. So let me move that over here. All right. So our top three is between A, F, and E. So I know Donnie says, who will win? James says, hashtag screwball. Nutsack. Nutsack. I like that one. I like that one. All right. A, F, and E. So let's taste through these, see which ones are favorite to least favorite on the top three. I'm surprised that A is stuck around so long. It's the cheapest one of them all. It's very thin, but that the flavor is really mild and it's very peanut buttery. <laughs> so I think it, it, it holds its own. It's actually... I'm very surprised because the reviews of this one weren't that great. The, the A is Ram's Point. So that one's still in the game. Maybe that's what people are sleeping on. Let me let me go to F. F has that roasty note, that dark, rich, roasty, roasty, chocolatey kind of. That tastes like a dessert. F tastes like I just ate a dessert. And it's just in my mouth still, and I'm just ruminating on how good that dessert was. And then E. E is our 99 proof. Roasty up front. Hit by the proof. But a really nice, nutty, caramely, rich, almost like a little burnt, little burnt caramel in the finish of that one. Uh, is it out of sync for y'all? I hope not. Test, test. I clap, but I can't. Does that work? <laughs> Sorry if it's out of sync. It looks good on my end, but... Okay, Steve A says it's good for him. All right. I think I have... I think I have my order. One more. All right, I got it. My third place in the peanut butter whiskey showdown goes to the one that I was hoping would stick around a little longer, but it didn't. My third place is 99 brand, 99 proof peanut butter whiskey. I like this. My top three are all really, really good. I would, I would buy all of them. 
I probably, <laughs> if I had to buy peanut butter whiskey, like I'm not going to keep all three of these on my shelf. I'm not going to have a peanut butter whiskey like selection on my bar. The proof is awesome. I, I commend them on that high proof. It does go roasty, but it, it goes a little darker than like you'd expect from a peanut butter. I love you, Steve. <laughs> yeah, it, it goes really dark. Darker than I've ever gotten on a peanut butter. I would almost say this is almost, while it's good, again, it's good. We're going for peanut butter whiskey. E, or I keep calling it E. 99 proof is more like an almond butter, like an almond hazelnut. Or you know what? It's like a hazelnut, like a um, Nutella. E, 99 proof peanut butter whiskey is like a Nutella whiskey. I, I if, it, if we're ranking Nutella whiskeys, that one would win. But we're ranking peanut butter whiskeys. So that's my third place. So now it's between, for my top two, my number one, we'll go ahead and announce the number one. My number one is either, if I, look, I lost it. Sorry. Number one is either Rams Point, which I moved somewhere. There it is. First place is either Rams Point, which is the cheapest, $15, or Screwball, which is the most expensive at $22. That's that's was unexpected. I wasn't expecting these two to be the finalists. Let me taste them and and make a decision. All right, let's let's taste one final time. Let's taste the taste the Rams Point. All right, screwball. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I moved the wrong glass. I'm like, that is definitely. That's the 99 proof one. I was like, that burns. That burns. Sorry, I, my statements are still accurate, but I think I I moved the wrong glass. All right. Take two, screwball. Ah, oh, man, those are so close. I did not expect these two to be so close. All right, sorry, I'll keep, I'll keep y'all from waiting. I have a winner. This is really close, guys. I was not expecting this to be so close. My second place, oh, well, my first place, whiskey, best peanut butter whiskey, is maybe, oh, no, I don't want to call it a tie, James Taylor, good point, but no, there's, there's a certain edge that comes ahead. First place, I got to get up to the screwball. That roasty note that I, I liked a lot about the 99 proof, it's a lot more natural with this one. This is the one, again, the only one that says contains peanuts. So this one is the most like peanut butter if we're going for like peanut butter in taste. Screwball is there. I mean, it's it's it serves its purpose, and I, I think I need to buy another bottle of it. Yeah. $22, I can't complain about the price. However, that means our second place is the cheapest whiskey here tonight. That is Rams Point. Why do I keep losing that one? Rams Point Peanut Butter Whiskey. Um, so let me show you. I'll show y'all. I don't know if they'll let me share, share this. Let me see. I'll show you the page on Total Wine. Just if you guys want to order it. I think it's a real close second. It's significantly cheaper. So let me see if I can share just that. One second. There we go. All right. So this is the Rams Point Peanut Butter Whiskey. Again, like I said, the reviews aren't great. I was like, oh, this one's probably going to suck. This one's $14.99 at my total line, which is in Pasadena. Um, man, that's that was a really close second. Like I said, Screwball won. Let me let me see if I can show you the Screwball page. Well, let, well, let me just read this. It says, the whiskey has the sweet and salty taste of peanut butter combined with a premium whiskey. Yeah, it's light, it's thin, but it has a very, very natural taste. But Screwball, Screwball takes the win. I mean, it's, it's the crowd favorite, so... 
I get it. And I didn't let my bias of this influence this decision. I hope y'all saw that. I treated it very fairly. Um, but yeah, Screwball still wins, but second place was the least expensive. That's crazy. So I encourage you guys to try them both. They sell them both in mini bottles, at least here in Southern California. So get you a mini of Screwball, get you a mini of Rams Point. Do this experiment yourself. Let me know if there's another peanut butter whiskey that you've tried that I didn't put on this list that you think is even better than these. I may do a round two. We'll see. We'll see. We may also do some peanut butter whiskey cocktails. Um, but y'all know what time it is. I was about to wrap up. I, I do. Y'all notice I have a habit of doing this. I'm like wrapping up and then I'm like, oh, wait, I forgot to do the thing that is the punishment that I don't want to do. Y'all got me to a thousand. Y'all got me to a thousand followers on Instagram. If y'all haven't followed me on Instagram yet, um, please do. Um, we, we, we have hit a thousand and two. Y'all are awesome. Just it's at bourbon bites on Instagram. Um, that means I'm going to stick to my word and we are going to do an Ardbeg wee beastie peanut butter whiskey shot. All right. I'll, I'll leave it up to the chat. Which of these, which of these six whiskeys should I mix with the Ardbeg? Should I mix one of the roasty ones like the 99 proof, um, or the screwball? Let me know. Chat sound off which whiskey I'm mixing with the Ardbeg. Um, <laughs> Nick says now I have to spend 22 instead of 15. Uh, that's what I'm saying. The price difference. That's, that's what made it tough. Honestly, like that, it, that's really freaking close because if you consider the price difference, it's, mm, I know it's only like eight, five, $7, but I think it's worthy $7, but man, that's, they're both really good. They're both really good. Um, Fred has a cocktail here for us. He says, I mix a cocktail of one part screwball, one part double chocolate, 360 vodka. Um, double chocolate, 360 vodka. I haven't heard of that one. And half part vanilla, 360 vodka, serve calm, cold. Oh, I'm hearing a lot of cocktails and shots you guys are mentioning. Sounds like a lot of chocolates, a lot of banana and chocolate and the peanut butter. We get, I, I think I'm going to do a peanut butter whiskey cocktail stream. So maybe I can get the folks from Screwball on to be on a stream with me in the future. Maybe they'll show us some cocktails. Maybe, maybe. If y'all want it, let me know. <laughs> but but we are. All right. All right. Donnie, Fred, Donnie, Steve A. Everyone wants me to mix the 99 proof peanut butter whiskey with the Ardbeg Wee bis <laughs> we, we, we Bisky. It's the peanut butter, y'all. It's sticking to my tongue. All right. Got my shot glass here. What, you, what do we say? Half and half? We'll do half and half. The proof on the Wee Beastie is what? 47.4%. The proof on this one is 49.5. Those are fairly close. So let's go ahead and see if we can do a layered. Nah, it's not going to work. <laughs> oh, God. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, that looks so gross. All right. All right. Let me add the Ardbeg. So... This is a roasty smoky. Oh, I poured way more Ardbeg. Let me add some more peanut butter whiskey. Oh my god, I can see the I can see the sugar floating in there. Oh lord, we nutty, we nutty. That is perfect. I know someone may have said that earlier. If not, James Taylor, that's that's genius. And, and I think I saw it earlier. James Taylor, yeah, we nutty. It's the we nutty. That is a, I'm not going to finish this. That's way too freaking much. Cheers to you guys. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, monthly hang, there's a lot of, the I'm going to spill this everywhere. Monthly hangout for patrons, $5 and up right after the stream. Patreon.com slash bourbon bites. You can join our hangout um, at discord, bourbonbites.com. Um, we biscuit. Cheers y'all. Beastie balls is good too, but I, I like, I like we nutty. Cheers. Cheers to we nutty. I feel like Sam from my whiskey she wines. I didn't hate it. <laughs> the proof, the proof got me. That was hot. It kind of actually kind of worked. I'm not upset about that. I it it hurt. It hurt a lot. Flavor, though, it was not as awful as I expected. 
the smokiness combined with the roastiness of the nuttiness. Hell yeah. There's a cocktail for you. Don't make a full glass. Just do, just do a shot of it. I is that Steve's A's thought I was about to heave. That was the alcohol coming up. I was like, ah, oh, I was not expecting that. Donnie says he'll have to try it later. Well, Donnie, if you try it, make sure to do it on the hangout. But until next time, I will see you guys on It's Bourbon Night stream on Sunday. Also going to be going live on Thursday with a more normal stream. It's not going to get this crazy every every week, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So cheers, guys, for you patrons. I'll see you on the hangout. For the rest of you, see you soon. Drink more whiskey. Even if it's peanut butter whiskey, drink what you like and how you like to drink it, as they say over at some other channel. <laughs> cheers, guys, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye.